What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, Monday is back again. Hopefully, you guys had an amazing weekend. Uh, we had an amazing weekend showing off a lot of Chellington, so hopefully, you guys did join us for that. But anyways, as you guys can tell from the title and everything, we have changed back to FS Daily News. Just sounds a lot better. But anyways, we have some news to go over. If you guys haven't already done it, make sure you guys put in the comment section below. Hashtag FS Daily News. You know what? Let's just roll that intro and let's get news. Here we go. Okay, so the first news to go over today is, of course, that testing list. So testing our PC, we got the 5075E, the Hercules 1400, camera suspension, class baseline HD, corn dryer, Dabnica, Felcherina MR4A, Global Company Maze Plus Book Hall, InnoMade Combi Roll SW3000, the ITS Winter Pack, Kirchner T6000, Lamborghini Mach VRT, Liquid Manure Storage, Lizard Among, Lizard K5, Lizard T20208, NMC Pickup Blade, NMC Wheel Loader, PLN 535, Polish Shed, Razvet, Shed, Steelcon Plates, and last but not least is the wind pump. On consoles, we have the Bedaranti Charger 40,000, Bucks County PA, Case W20E, Class Quantrum 3800K, Class Zerion 4000 5000 series, Farmhouse for decorating, ITS Winter Plot Pack, the John Deere 2410 Plow, the Joskin Tornado 3, the KFMR Optimal 412MX, Lizard 3500TDS 3500-gallon tanker, Lizard 445DTC, Lizard GASPCREHD, Lizard LK Series Brazil, Lizard TPX36S, New Holland CR690, the New Holland D1000 barely from 40 money. Hopefully that does pass this week. The New Holland T7 series, the New Holland T8 series, NMC Back Bed Pack, NMC Rambler Pack, NMC Raptor Pack, NMC Reaper Pack, NMC Skurg Pack, Austro Witco, Placeable Fruit Trees Pack, Placeable Fuel Station, Same Pack, Seed Factory, Six Ashes, so Snowfka Placeable Pack, Straw and Hay Storage, and last but not least is a Subsoiler Lizard. Number I was going to be tested is 78, and current joint team, guys, is three work days. Okay, let's get to that regular pieces of news. Okay, so the first piece of news to go over is this right here. This is the Dangerville Polydrac Plus 418A by Semi-Agri FR. Coming soon to mod up, so this will be coming out to all platforms. It is a small but beautiful trailer with sideboard extensions and three color choices. A very, very nice trailer right here. Okay, and the next piece of news is from Missy B, and this is going to be an update to Withers Farm that will be coming out very soon. No release date on this yet, but the change log on it. Train will be fixed on Withers Farm. Tip coils fixed. Gates have been added to hedge and fence posts, so now will disappear when posts are removed. Changed name shop or vehicle spawn to store. Now able to use placeables. Fixed traffic issues. General tidying up of the fields and trees. And there is now a trigger that has been placed on the map to allow the removal of all hedges and fence lines. It is recommended that you start a new save game with this. So if you are playing this map right now, hold off until this update. Okay, and the next piece of news to go over is from this right here. This is from Four Stabaton, which I believe that's how you pronounce that modding group. But anyways, they had this to say. Mod update for you. We have submitted the following two Giants mod hub updates. The Timber Runner Z Crane Pack and the Scorpion King MRF Edition. New mods they have submitted. The main TGX Special, the Vultra T Forestry, and the MRF Back Crane. Which for anybody asking, yes, these will be coming to console. Looks good right there. Can't wait for them. Okay, and then the last piece of news to go over is this right here, something very exciting. This is by Agrotono. 
four wheelers are going to be coming to farming simulator yes i said that four wheelers will be coming to farming simulator here they are right here can't wait for them i i don't know what to say really let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below so that right there was all the news you know what let's head on over to the console and take a look at all the new mods we got for today which is some really good new mods Okay, so here we are on console to go over the first new mods for the week. New mods on console today, we got the John Deere Gator 6x4, the John Deere RTK Stations Pack, the Horse UW160, the Placeable Factories Pellet Pack, Machine Shed, Red Brick Garads, and the TF140 PB95. Updates, which we actually got a lot of updates today. We got La Cronella, Switchback Cannon, Old Production Pack, the Star Hercules 10,000, the Lizard Tank 40, Lizard APL, Lizard TM series, the Randon Dumper, the Randon Vertalia Dumper, the KFMR Galat 800, the John Deere 6x20 series, the New Holland CR5080 and TX590, the Lizard D838, D848, the Metafaki Z560, the Zeter Crystal 8011, 8045, 814, uh, the MMZ771B, the MMZ768B, and last but not least, the Lizard Diesel Tank 2000. So a lot of stuff to go over today. Let's go over it. Okay, so the first mod to go over today is this one right here. This is the John Deere Gator 6x4 from Black Sheep Modding. Let's see, it is 13 slots, $15,000. It is 23 horsepower. Options on this one. Let's see, we got rim color, yellow or black. We got design color, yellow or black. Main color, we got green, yellow or green forest. Configurations, you got standard. You got 600 kilogram front weight. 900, uh, let's see, 1200, uh, protection one. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Protection two, protection three, which puts it almost all the way around it. And then back to standard. Let's see, design configuration, you got model one, you got model two, model three, model four, model five, model six, model seven, model eight, and then back to one. Let's see, beacons, no, yes. Uh, let's see, setup, you have standard. You have wide tires, communal, uh, additional lights. You got yes or no on those. I believe there's also some uh, attachments to it. Let's check real quick. Uh, is there anything on this section? Yes, there is. The skip, which is 2,000. It is nine slots, holds up to 800 liters. Let's see options on this one. You got the John Deere green, yellow, and green forest. Uh, forestry, yes or no on that one. That looks pretty cool, actually, right there. Okay, and some more attachments for it. First one we got is under crop protection, which is the 32A. It is $2,000, 5.0 working meters, holds up to 400 liters. It is nine slots, and this is a fertilizer spreader or a herbicide spreader. Options on this one, you can change the color to the same colors as the other ones. So there is that one. I believe we also got another one under, is it bailing technology? Yes, there it is right there. Bail container, which is 1,500 three slots on this one and you can change the color on that one too and there is just one more it is right over here the 3p lifter which is one thousand dollars two slots on this one and you can change the color on this one and this of course is going to be go well going to be good of course with the new ishka scout which is part of the precision farming dlc okay let's actually go into the game and take a look at this okay and so here we are in game to take a look at these let me actually bring up the help menu real quick Okay, so that looks amazing right there. Look at that, you can see everything. Okay, so let's go in the inside. Let's see, there is the interior, really nice. What does that say? Young drivers increase, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, Hobbs Quartz, really nice. Are we actually be able to see those chains moving back there? That'd be kind of cool. Okay, so two cameras, let's see, beacons right there. Uh, horn, wow, that horn, yeah. Okay, lights we got, let's see, one set of lights, two sets of lights, two sets of lights on there. Does the dashboard light up? Let's see. It doesn't look like it, but it might when the engine's turned on. Turn signals. Oh, you can actually hear it too. Yep. Okay, so let's turn that off. Okay, let's turn the engine on. Ooh, nice sounds. Okay, I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear the startup sounds and the engine setup sounds. So there they are right there. Top speed is 15 miles an hour. See the muffler working back there. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can actually hear the engine sounds. All 
Okay, so there that is right there. And it actually gets up to speed really fast. This is really nice. You can see the chains moving back there for the wheels. Yeah, I think this is going to be my new John Deere Gator. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and hook this thing up just to see how easy it is to hook it up. Okay. Ooh. Um, <laughs> let me see if I can get that right. Okay. I guess that's fine right there. So there it is. Really nice. Let's see. Map. It looks like everything's regular on that one. So there is the John Deere Gator. Really nice mod for today. Okay, and the next mod for today is we got a new auger wagon. This is the Horse UW160. It's a $20,000, 13 slots, 135 horsepower is required, holds up to 20,000 liters. And of course, this is, well, a chaser bin. Uh, so this would be good, you know, of course, putting your crop in there or some seeds or fertilizer and bringing them out to the field. Let's see. Options on this one, rim color, any color. Design color, you got black, yellow, gray, black matte, yellow matte, and black matte. Uh, let's see, Will Brand, we got Trailborg, we got Michelin, Lizard, and then back to Trailborg. So that is a Horse UW160. Okay, we have one regular mod to go over today. After this one, let's see, go over to the bailing technology. And this is a mod that's actually been out on, well, PC for a while, but it's finally out on console. This is it right here, the TF140 PB95. These are bail trailers, and these are auto bail trailers. So let's see, they're $20,000, seven slots a piece. And like this one, round bales, well, round cotton bales, this one can do three right here. This one can do square, which is only one. Uh, let's see, square bales, 21. This one, round bales, 30. And there they are right there. Options on these one. Rim color, uh, you got, let's see, John Deere's, fence, cases, challengers, all that good stuff. Main color, the same thing. And then you got the configuration, you got the base bed, you got the front rail. You got the front rail rear, uh, rear, and you can also put the auto load on or off on that one. Uh, let's see, manual config. Let me see, manual config was, I'll try and go back to it. There it is. You can turn off the auto load on that one too, so that's nice. So really, really nice uh, bail trailer, which I use these a lot on the PC version. So there is the regular mods for today. Let's get into, of course, those placeables we got today. Okay, and the first placeables we got for today is this right here. This is the John Deere RTK Stations Pack. Let's see, 10,000 for the bigger one, 5,000 for the smaller one, two to three slots, $10 a day. What this does, remember the buildings for the precision farming? These are basically a smaller, more compact version of them. What these do, it makes it so like if you're using the precision farming stuff, like when you hire a worker, they're gonna use less seeds, lime, they're gonna be a lot more efficient. Uh, so there they are right there. Uh, there are too many objects of this type. Please sell some first. It might not let me actually put any of these on here. Actually, did it just lock up my game because I don't have the precision farming? I think it kind of did. Uh, let me... <laughs> yeah, my game's completely... Okay, no. Okay, well, let me exit out. Okay, well, I guess uh, we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so here we are back on the map. Let's see if now it works. I actually activated the precision farming DLC, so maybe it works this time. So let's go back over to here, go to miscellaneous. See, there are the regular ones. This is more compact version and a lot cheaper. So let's see if this, yes, now look, it works. So definitely have the precision farming DLC activated when you try to do it, or it is going to lock up your game. <laughs> well, at least it did for me. So there is the John Deere RTK stations pack. Okay, and so the next two mods, well, actually the last two mods to go over for today is these ones right here, sheds. First one we got is the machine shed, which is 9,500. It is 15 slots, and let's see, it does 360 degree rotation on that one. Let's go ahead and place that one down. So there it is right there. Hopefully these doors do open. Okay, come on, does it open? Yes, it does. And that opens, and that opens pretty fast, actually. Uh, it does look like there is lights, so light switch right there, and there is that one. Nice machine shed. So that is the first one for today, and the last one for today is the red brick garage, which is $30,000. Five slots on that. Uh, let's go over here. Let's place it right down over there. Okay, we have a few doors. Oh, these are the slow opening doors. Yes, these are. Let's go ahead and open up every single one. So there they go, all opened. 
Uh, looks like no lights on this one, but nice shed though. Okay, so that is it of all the mods for today. We also did get a placeable factories pellet pack, but that will only work on certain maps and it will not work with seasons. So I will not be showing that off as I am a big, 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 big supporter of seasons. Uh, but anyways, it is a really nice placeable factory pack. I am just hoping later on in the future that we actually are able to actually place factories on console with seasons being activated. Okay, let's get into, of course, all those updates, which there is a ton of updates. Okay, so the first update for today is for La Cronella. What did this do? The map has been adapted for the Precision Farming DLC. The extra crops of the map, millet and sorghum, are not compatible with this DLC. The sale price of cotton has been increased on that one. After that one, we got the switchback cannon update. What did this do? Updated mod desk, improved performance, optimized file size, and added Precision Farming capabilities on that one. After that one, the old production pack, what did this change? Fixed issues with the pig food and silage productions UI showing hay. Fixed fill type for pig food and silage productions and adjusted pig food values in the info. After that one, we got the Star Hercules. What did this do? Capacity extension, animation of the oil cooler, work lights, and updated mod desk 253. Next one, Lizard Tank 40. What did this one do? One new wheel option, new color added, Option of the colors in the tank, plate selection, and readjustment in value on that one. Then we have the Lizard APL. What did this do? New colors added, selection of colors in the tank, and adjusted equipment price on that one. Next one, the Lizard TM series. Like I said, we got a lot. We got uh, on this one added another tire option, adjusted price, and the version without cab added on that one. Next one, the Randon Dumper. What did this change? Wrote folded canvas riding new wheels, and fixed discharge effect on that one. And then the other Randon, the Randon Vadalaria Dumper, I believe I pronounced that right. What did this change? Cover added and fixed discharge effect on that one. Then we had the KFMR update, which what did this do? Fixed PTO, fixed LED lighting, spray tanks added, that's for only PC and Mac on that one. And they also added console version without the manure system on those. Then we have the John Deere 6x20 series. Change log on that. Added front windows and top window to open. The 6520 and the 6820 added. Added new texture for lettering. Power changed. The Michelin multi bib added. Front linkage replaced by Dingenhart. And the small twin wheels added on that one. Then we have the New Holland CR5080 and TX590. What did this change? Let's see. Added options with canvas and supports for the bulk carrier. Added transport wheels. Added new harvest. New Holland TX590. And so there is that right there. Also, they did, let's see, animations of the door, stairs, and bulk carrier cover by pretty much the controller. So that is amazing right there on that one. Next one we have is for the Lizard D838 and D848. What did this change? Added two axle version on that one. Then we have another one, the Metal Effects Z560. What did this change? Fixed tires, stickers has been corrected on those. And then we have the Zeter Crystal 8011, 8045, 8145, and the 10045 pack. What did this change? Minor fixes and improvements, and then versions 8045, 8145, and the 1045 have been added on those. Then we got three more left to go. Only three more, guys. Then we have the MMZ771B. What did this change? Added new colors and minor fixes and improvements on that one. And then we got the other one, the MMZ768B. What did this do? Added new colors and minor fixes and improvements on that one. Then when the last one, wow, there's a lot of updates to go over. We have the Lizard Diesel Tank 2000. What did this change? Rusted version added on that one. Okay, so that was all the new mods and a lot of updates that we got today. Let me know in the comment section below which one was your guys' favorite mod. I'm going to have to say probably the John Deere Gator 6x4. So far, we're off to a really good week. Uh, let's head on over and do our outro, guys. Okay, guys, so that was all the news, the new mods, the mods and testing. That was everything for today. Today's schedule after this video, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, we'll be back on Chillington on live stream. So hope you guys do join us for that. Also tonight, unfortunately, I do have to eat a pineapple pizza. Dang it. Anyways, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't said, make sure you guys do like always. Have an all day, farmers. Peace.